Never. Never. I've never imagined that. It's just because of our constitution that I've become a president. But I never imagined it. And there was a time in 20, 2020 when they said I would contest for Zanzibar presidency. And I said, no, I'm not interested. So I've never imagined to be a president. It's just it came by chance because of our constitution. But I'm ready to bear the burden. Yeah. How difficult is it? It is difficult and it is not. Yeah, when the government is um, correctly coordinated, then it's much easier to operate. And when it is fragmented, then uh, you can imagine what will happen. Yeah, so I'm trying to build a coordinated government so that it can work for the people and for the development of the country. Yeah. You're the first female president of Tanzania. Do you think some people are not really ready to have a woman as the head of state? Typical, typical of African culture, yeah. Some of them, yes, they don't believe. And it's not even African. Uh, you remember what happened in America when Clinton, Madam Clinton was contesting. He reached a uh, place where we thought she's going to be a president of America, and she couldn't. So it's not only Africa, it's the whole world. I don't think why they don't have faith with women being presidents. But at least Africa, we have shown the way. Liberia, they had a, a, a woman president. Uh, Central Africa, in some time, they had a woman president. Ethiopia, she's there, and myself. So at least Africa, we have shown the way. But yeah, still, there are people who don't believe that women can be better presidents. And we are here to show them. How do you deal with that when someone looks at you and... Just implement the development plans and see what you are doing for them. They'll come to terms, definitely. Yeah. Um, let's talk about COVID. How, how, was, how has Tanzania been affected by, by COVID-19? Uh, yeah. Economically and socially. Mm -hmm. Affected somehow because our economy went down from 7 to 4.7, but we're expecting to grow by 5.5, 5.6 this year. And um, yeah, uh, sectors like uh, agriculture, tourism have been severely affected, but we are now trying to beat them again. And uh, yeah, we are moving. We have been affected, but we are moving. Yeah. You have introduced vaccinations and there are people who are a bit skeptical. They're not sure about the, the, the vaccine. What, what, what do you have to tell them? You yourself had, had a job. I myself have done it. Yeah. And I told them, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a wife, I'm a president, and uh, I'm the chief on command of the army in Tanzania. And I have decided to take the vaccination. So it's not that I want to kill myself. I don't want to expose myself to the danger. So if I did it, they should know that vaccinations are safe. They have to do it. And thank God they have listened to that. A lot of Tanzanians are now asking for uh, vaccines, which I would like to, um, uh, to submit my request to um, donors who are donating the vaccines and uh, to look at Tanzania. Uh, thanks for the uh, American government that have given us around 1,058,000 vaccines, which we have started with them. And we hope more of them shall come from different donors. At the same time, we are preparing our, ourselves to buy the, the vaccines through the African Union because we have uh, a system in African Union where they, they, they buy the vaccines and we, the countries, are buying from the African Union. So that's, that's my plan. With all the changes that are happening in Tanzania, and we saw last year Tanzania were, was not sharing data, COVID data, but now huge changes. We are following all WHO requirements and regulations here. So can you assure people that Tanzania is safe to visit? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're welcome. Tanzania is safe to visit. Tanzania, 
Tony Blair has been here. Uh, a day before yesterday, I had under secretary for political affairs from America. Um, I had uh, um, a lot of people are visiting me now. Yeah, they are visiting me because Tanzania is safe. Where do you want to see Tanzania at the international stage? I want to see at international stage. Uh, I think Tanzania has been there already at international stage. But I want to see competitive, economic competitive Tanzania uh, uh, trading and uh, working with other nations. I want to see development of the people in Tanzania. I want to see peace and uh, peaceful and uh, stable Tanzania. Yeah. I want to see um, Tanzania with a democratic space. Yeah. yeah. Talking about democracy, is Tanzania a democracy? Very much democratic. It's a democratic country, very much democratic. They have opposition accusing you of, you know, not being fair in terms of politics. How did you call them? Opposition. So they must oppose whatever. But Tanzania is very much democratic, very much democratic. And what might be democratic to, to others might not be democratic to some people. So I don't know their definition of democracy. But the way I see it, Tanzania is very much democratic. And when you came into power, you promised to meet uh, the opposition political I'll leaders. Meet them. I'll meet them for sure. Do you know when you can? I'll meet them for sure. That's my promise. I'll meet them for sure. Yeah. And in terms of um, social media, people write a lot about you on, on, on social media. How do you... How do you deal with, uh, with, with uh, criticism? I like that. That's an offloading method. Let them offload whatever they think so that I can work with, with whatever they are talking about. Yeah, if something to be worked out, I work, I work on it and I correct it. If something just written, then let bygone be bygone. Yeah, but otherwise... I like it. That's the way of them speaking to their government. Yeah. As president now, and as a mother, as a grandmother, do you find time to spend time with, with your family? Later time, yes. Later time with my grandkids.